Okay, so let's oops, let's implement the stream of natural numbers. Um, okay, so what we want to do, it's a bit different than const value, right? Now we want we want something like zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So how can we do that? Define naturals. Um, well, we need to somehow store the state of the current number. So that means we need a, an internal definition. Ox. So we're going to start current nat. Okay. And what we are returning is cons of the current nat. And then a thunk, right? Um, a thunk of naturals uh, with one plus current naturals, right? Um, next, we need to call naturals ox, and we want to initialize it with zero. Um, I guess we could now one, two, three, could do naturals. Okay, so let's see if this works. It's not working. Let's see what's going on. Natural socks, right. This needs to be the auxiliary function and not the function itself because the function itself, already is match, right? It expects zero arguments. Let's run again. Okay, now things appear to be working. Okay, so next, um, so this is not super interesting, so that's why I kind of went quickly. Uh, here's an example. Um, what else? In this example, I actually store in advance one by one. This is kind of nicer in terms of performance, right? Um, next, let's think about the map operator. And the map operator should work pretty similarly to the functional, the list, the map for list, but except that there's no, you know, there's no base case because a stream doesn't finish, right? So it doesn't have a base case. So let's try to define, we have a map, it's called stream map. Um, it takes a function, takes a stream. What do we do with it? Um, well, we must return a cons, right? What do we do with that cons? Well, we need to do, um, so map of f l equals, ignore the base case. So what does it do? It's very simple. You do cons of f map f rest of l, right? Kind of like this, right? So when we're creating a, a stream, map, we want to do something very similar. Whoops. Not just F, but F of first of L, right? So what is first F of stream get of S, right? Uh, and then we do stream map. And then pass the same F. What is rest stream next? Maybe I should have called it, um, what are we missing here? Before recursion, we have to delay evaluation. Otherwise we have endless loops. We have some examples. Let's see if everything works. Okay. Let's see what this is saying. So we take natural numbers. And we want to create a new stream. So the, so stream map is very useful because it's how you compose or how you build, um, or another way to build streams, right? We, we saw one way, which is by creating streams from scratch. Uh, and now what we're seeing with map is we can build streams um, with map and some other stream. So we can transform streams into something else, into a new kind of stream. In this case, we started with naturals. And then what we did was we added two. So we, we have 
a new stream of, of natural a new stream of numbers that starts with two, two, three, four, and so on. All right, so this is what this test is writing. Okay, so um, we could very easily now, and this is I would really like you to try to do it yourselves. Um, so please try to pause the video uh, and try to figure this one out. Otherwise, I will implement it next. Okay, so I'm going to assume you already tried. So now I want to use map to implement the stream of even numbers. So if I need even numbers, what do I have so far? Well, I've learned how to use map and I've learned how to use, I, le I learned that I have natural numbers. So one way of thinking about even numbers, four, right, is to think that it's zero, two times one, and then two times uh, two, two times three, and so on, All right? So I have zero, uh, two, four, six, and so on. So defining even numbers becomes very simple. It's just a matter of taking map, doing lambda, Lambda, take an x and do x times 2. And what are we mapping over? The natural numbers. Okay, so now actually, let me copy paste this. Now we take even numbers. What we do is multiply by two, multiply by two, and multiply by two. Let's see if this still works. Okay, cool. So it makes it very easy to create new data structures by building on top of others. And it's another way to reuse map. So map is really a, a pattern that you can apply to other um, programming models. Okay. And also one thing I like about streams in this way is that uh, streams is it, are a data structure that are built in terms of code. So, so they are generative in a way, if that makes sense. Um, so again, data as code. Okay, so we saw how we can, you can also use curry for that. So currying. Uh, next, let's merge two streams together. Um, so the idea is that, and this is more to give you an example of what will show up in the, in the homework assignment. You will see something like this. Um, and the idea is you have to think about how to build it. So in this example, we have two streams. One is E1, E2, E3, E4. The other one is F1, F2, F3, F4. And I want to build a, a function called stream zip that uh, pairs the first element with the first element, second with the second, third with the third, and so on. Okay, so maybe try to pause this video and try to implement it yourself. See if you can do it. Okay, I'm gonna assume you've done it. So let's just confirm that you did it right. right. Uh, so I'm going to define stream zip. Right, it takes uh, two streams, S1 and S2. And what am I going to return? Very simple. We always take a cons. We're going to do something here. And then we're going to do something um, on the next element. Right? So next element is going to be a thunk. What is going to be the value? The value is going to be the first of S1 and the first of the second uh, stream. So we do stream, create a pair, stream get S1, P, we just create a variable here, define P, okay, stream get S2, right? And what follows, so this is the pair that we're creating, and what follows is going to be stream next, right, of S1, and stream next of S2, oh, forgot the recursive call, stream zip, 
right? Because what we want to do is we want to recurse and advance in both at the same time. So arranging over both streams at the same time, we use thunk to delay the evaluation, make sure that there's no endless loops, and we return even call this the stream s so define s to be this it's quite big huh? quite long Let's see okay this is it Let's see if i have some examples i don't like this so i'm just gonna do this okay now i'm gonna zip Naturals. Oh, this is it, S. So I want uh, Nat even. Nat even. I'm going to call it Nat even. Okay. So what do we have on the first element? It's going to be so net first and then even. So it's going to be zero and zero. Second thing, it's going to be one and two. Third one is going to be two and four. Cons three and six, and then cons four and eight. This is called stream zip. Okay, and it works. Let me just introduce a mistake. See, okay, so this should be two, four. Okay, so this should be pretty simple if you understood uh, recursion. Uh, it's just, you know, this, these functions are all recursive, they just don't have a base case. But other than that, the only nuance is putting, um, making sure you add thunk before recursion. Um, yeah, and then uh, stream next relates directly one to one to rest, the rest of the list, and stream get relates to uh, the first element of the list. That is it for today. I hope you had fun. Please try to do each of these exercises by yourself. Um, don't wait for me to implement everything because if you're not, if you're, you have to learn by doing, right? You, that's how most people learn. So try to do that. If you just go through content like you do with a book, you'll forget about it. That's for sure. You need to exercise. Programming is exercise. If you do a bit of it every day, I'm sure you'll succeed in this course. So have a good one.